music was his whole life, and that's what he enjoyed, because he, he loves the music. He always has ever since he was little. That was his, his thing, was the guitar and the music, and he really liked it. I think I first met Grant at a community meeting, and I found out that he played the guitar and that that was an interest of his. Since I also share an interest in music and I've just started learning the guitar, that would be a great opportunity for Grant to show me some things and to kind of share our interests together and use it as a platform to work on some other skills and goals. Do you want to keep playing for you and by yourself, or do you hope to play in a band again? For me. For you. Do you like the rush that music gives you? What else does music do for you? It relaxes me. It relaxes you, yeah. So there is an incredible opportunity for students here to have what some of us might call clinic in the classroom. They are in a mutual learning environment with people who oversee their work and where they are exposed to individuals with chronic brain injury who help teach them about what it's like to live with chronic brain injury. Heidi and Grant are a perfect example of this mutuality. So what are some of the things that you've been teaching me? Chords. Some of the chords, that's right. What kinds of things are you trying to get better at with the guitar? Finger dexterity, that's right. So that's on kind of one of your goals that you're working on. Grant, you know, playing guitar again and having a really top-notch student with great supervision, thinking about, oh, I think, I think a coffee house would be a great idea. This is the KC Coffee House for July 2016. And we wouldn't be able to do that kind of programming if we didn't have our UNH partnership and our, our very talented staff to kind of facilitate that through. We got to hear you play the guitar at the coffee house here at Crumple Center. How did that feel? Felt good. Good. Do you think a lot of people at Crumple Center knew that you could play the guitar? No. No? So that, was it kind of neat showing them that this is something that you can do? Yes. And there is just, I don't know, a lot of, a lot of passion and a lot of shared joy going on in that moment. I think people being proud of themselves, but also being surprised by each other and proud of each other too. Um, which is great in the moment, but is also great carryover for the community now. Grant, what do you like about the Crumple Center? Why are you excited to get up and, and get up and go when it's a Crumple Center day? People here. The people. What, what is it about the people here? They're nice. There's been a big change in him. This place has made it a lot easier, and I know he's safe, and I know he likes coming. And he has made friends here, and he has learned to do things on his own, and he's using his hands better. You can only learn so much from a textbook and from class discussions and case studies, but until you actually meet people with real lives and real experiences and real interests and goals, then like that, that's when things start to make sense and start to get exciting. and. Um, really give you the education that's going to make you a good OT down the road. Nice job. Good plan. <laughs>